everyone and welcome to my channel. We are flying with Neil Air or Nile Air. At the moment, we are bound to Cairo from Sharm El Sheikh. And I'm with the love of my life. Okay, there are a lot of people. I don't know if there are a lot, but yes, um, we are bound to Cairo. And we will stay there for how long? Five days. So we are staying there for five days and we will be going somewhere else after that. Hopefully I can board the flight going there to somewhere. So fingers crossed. We are ending our nine day Charmel trip here and well, I don't know. I feel um, mixed emotions about it. Like the hotel was nice but this part it's just like filthy as hell wasn't vlogging that much because um, we are busy tanning ourselves so I got some tan I got some tan just a bit of tan he's still white he's just red to be honest <laughs> yeah so so I feel kind of like half-hearted about it um, Charm El Sheik was nice it was a hit and miss um, especially like the immigration process where I had to go to the office just to get my passport um, registered and stamped but um, it was fine um, we were on vacation mode and we weren't really expecting that much um, like Ivar said it's just an alternative to Philippines because he can't enter the Philippines yet I really didn't want to vlog um, but um, I think I have to end my Charmel Chic vlog properly, so I'm doing this ending vlog for Charmel Chic so I can start with the Cairo vlog as soon as we get to the hotel. If you are flying out of Charmel Chic, um, just a domestic trip to anywhere in Egypt like Cairo, you will be departing from Terminal 2 here and you'll be arriving at the Terminal 1 in Cairo. Um, we paid $77 for each seat, but they're hella filthy. And we'll get back to that later. I want to show you guys how filthy it is. Um, I don't know, but like, oh my god. Like, I like paid. Like, I don't expect this at all. I did not expect how like, dirty it is. It's not really maintained at all. But anyways, we had um, a bit of a hassle. Not just a bit of a hassle at the airport here. There are a lot of um, securities here. Of course, I'm bringing my essential oils. So they check that out. Um, we are also bringing Ivar's powder juices from the Philippines, so they also check that out. Um, every time I had to, like, that's not even a security. There are like, like, you go through security and there are still checkpoints. So you have to open the laptop again. You have to remove the laptop. You have to open the laptop for like thrice or twice. And uh, yeah, um, there are a lot of like security um, checks here and like after that there are checkpoints as well. They register your passports and everything but um, and you also have to remove your shoes even if there are no metal things on it and um, like a lady or like a guy will have to inspect you as well like like the whole body inspection I wasn't expecting that like it was a thorough body inspection like I don't know if I feel like it's because of like really it's a security I don't know if there are a lot of terroristic acts here but I think it's like because of that okay so let's get back to the plane review inside the cabin in one of the Neo Air flights. This is a A320 flight, like an aircraft, but I don't know. This is the worst aircraft that I've ever been to, seriously. I just want to do a little bit of review because it really caught my attention because right now I don't even want to sit on my seat. 
but I have no choice. We have to go to Cairo and who knows? Maybe it will change our hearts if we ever like decide to go back here in Egypt. Let's start with the seat. So I cleaned my seat a while ago because it's like, you know, really filthy. It was sticky as hell. Um, like the seat is really sticky. I don't know if you can see, but it's so old. Um, check this out, seat belt. The seat belt has like dirty stuff on it. So I cleaned my seat, hopefully thoroughly. I don't know. So I got this. I cleaned it with wipes and look how it turned out. How, how filthy it is. It's so dirty. Like I've been to cheap flights in the Philippines and anywhere else, but I've never seen an A320 like this. Like aircraft that is like dirty. And I don't know if they really check the seats or whatnot, but it's really dirty. I want to show the seat belt as well on the other side. See? Oh my god. It is so dirty. I don't even know if they like really clean this or when was the last time they cleaned this aircraft because it makes me um, frustrated as hell because because you know imagine paying for a flight but it's like this I do not know like when was the last time they cleaned this aircraft at all because everything here is just um, filthy I'm not even exaggerating you can see dust and stuff everywhere it's like everything is sticky oh my god it is filthy 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 I don't want to do this but I hope um, this gets the attention of Neil Air Hopefully, they'll clean this aircraft thoroughly per seat. It's mandatory to wear a mask here, um, but um, most of the people here just like wear a mask and just remove it, like just pull it down. And you know, um, we all know that Egypt is um, downplaying the coronavirus, but um, you have to be here to see for yourself because you know you think that your country is doing worse, but there are a lot worse countries than doing so much like you know worse than this but uh, oh my god I hope Cairo will change our minds about this because seriously um, I just want to get off this plane we are departing now I just want to like just like hopefully Neil Air will see this and take a note that they have to clean their aircraft every time they use it like like departing, parking, um, disembarking, whatever, just clean it because it is so bad. Like everything here is dirty, even the window. Um, I tried to wipe it, um, but still, you know, still dirty, 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 dirty. dirty. Um, just a bit of an update. Um, the, the man um, beside me complained as well to the. Everything has to be sanitized, everything has 
just this aircraft and the other ones are clean and hopefully if we ever go back here we see a difference because there are a lot of people who board this plane and you know everything has to be clean especially this time thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next vlog bye <laughs>